designs. I have to say it twice because I never know when this camera is going to pick up. Welcome to SC Custom Designs. So if you've been watching our latest episode, you know that we are transferring printed photo. Otherwise, it's going to be text in the future for my the sign that we're making for SC Custom Designs. So I, I, am, I found myself uh, researching uh, what is the best way to, to take a print specifically from a toner, so not an inkjet printer, but a toner uh, printer. Uh, taking the print and then transferring it to wood. I did a search and found five ways that one guy was doing this and his most preferred one um, was using this. I'm not a salesman for Minwax. I uh, just am using the product. So uh, I'm no stranger to using all kinds of products like this with my background as a painter, doing all sorts of stuff with paint and stain and poly and so on and so forth. And uh, so at any rate, uh, this is a water-based uh, product, polyacrylic, uh, for finishing wood, so on and so forth, clear semi-gloss. Um, so you essentially spray that onto the surface of the wood, which should be sanded and free of dust. Then you take the the print, like this, this is the print, put it down, you tape it. Okay, then you flip up the print and you're going to spray the area, put the product on, put the print down, mush it down with your, with your hands initially. Of course, making sure it doesn't move around. Um, and then you're going to take uh, some kind of... Uh, object like a credit card or you know piece of wood that's smooth and then really burnish it in like like this so what we did is we did like various stages like various um amounts of the polyacrylic so this one was a really heavy coat and so eh, that's what i did and then i did this this is not something that i read about but I went ahead and just put some painter's tape over the uh, the print, just to sort of keep it in place. And, and it just I felt like just that's something I should do. So now, the way they explained to take off the paper was to take a toothbrush and do this. So if you look carefully, you can actually see my face already. Now, the, I did this initially uh, with uh, with a wire brush. With you know, it was a it was a gentle wire brush. It wasn't, you know, too abrasive. At least I didn't think it was. And I, I I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect this to to uh, come off that fast. Well, you can see already that I'm eating into the print. So I need to be a little less aggressive. I am very, very not patient. So I actually have another brush that I brought down. So I have a couple different brushes. So there we go. Uh, that's that one. So that was a black and white. Now, obviously, if this were for a customer, I kind of messed up. Now, this is, I smoothed this with 400, 400 grit, but I didn't put a lot of work in into smoothing it out. So lessons learned from the first one, I, I, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, I put a lot of product down, a lot of the polyacrylic, and, uh, and so that's that. So now we're going to take the second one off, um, which is going to be a color photo, okay? So let's be a little more careful, and let's not go so fast. Let's not be so hasty. So there we go. Let it soak in a little bit there. And brush gently. Now there is there is an acrylic that you can get um, that is a paste. And that was also one of the uh, I want to I like to give credit where credit is due. You know, the, the guy that went out of his way to put all that information out there, right? Um, 
I'm sorry I don't remember his name, but uh, he tried the, the, the cream, and I believe also my wife uh, may have used the uh, cream. And one thing that I remember her telling me was that you have to have a lot of patience. I think we know I don't have that. I just lack patience. I pretty much want instant results. So uh, what I'm going to do is let that soak in a little bit more and continue going down. Okay. So I would say I'm so far not too shabby. So, I mean, there could be other reasons why this, maybe this never soaked in, this ink here, um, for, for whatever reasons. Uh, dust that I didn't realize was on there. Who knows, right? There's just so many reasons. Look at this. This doesn't even want to penetrate. So that's interesting. Um, so let's continue just going down. Yeah, not really a wasted effort for me um, doing this. I'm learning. And if you've never done this before, then you're, you're also sort of learning with me right alongside. And if you've got ideas uh, that you can want to share on the post on YouTube our channels on, on YouTube and we're trying to get to that 1000 shortly I'm going to be not monetized because I need a, subs a thousand subscribers and I'm up to officially 161 now I've got all kinds of videos out there I have videos you be I, one day when I have time you know that's not going to happen but um, I would go through the videos and see what exactly what, what is out there. What do I got? But I anytime I'm working on a project like this, I will stop my life and I will um, I will just uh, give the tips, give the, the, the life lessons because you know when you're when you're working on a project, um, when you're working on a project, you're doing a lot of things. You're, 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 there's so many processes that you're going through, right? And uh, you don't realize that somehow, somewhere, you learned that. You learned it by reading a book, or you learned it from your shop teacher. For me, I learned uh, in Eretz Israel, in, in Israel as a kid. Uh, I went to Chavatanel uh, Tzioni, the Marzi Yivrit, Volpal Netzion Gomken. So I learned Hebrew at uh, at at Chavatanel uh, Tzioni, which was is still it's still a thing. It's an absorption center for uh, Jewish folks to come home when they're coming home to the to the to Israel when they're immigrating. So there's all, there's assistance for these guys. That come some of them are coming with literally no uh, no money no funds they just all their money was just to get to the land and so Israel you know not only will they do that for their their, their own for the their, the Jewish family or abroad all around the world they'll do it for the others like me I'm a Christian um, and uh, they allowed me to come into the absor absorption center and learn and I did pay, well, the group I was with at the time in 1978 through uh, 84 um, paid to send me to the Ulpan. I didn't know I'd be talking about this, but I suppose we'll be talking about various things when we're doing a, a, an arduous process like this. So just a little bit of review. Looks like this guy's really, really uh, been pulled apart. The ink came up. From the wood um, that's the black and white the the uh, the color one um, looks like it's mostly intact there's a piece there that's missing and you know I don't know if I'm the one taking that off I'll know uh, by looking at the video to see uh, what exactly is, is, is transpiring you know so there you go So let's uh, let's persist a little bit more here um, and see. Obviously, well, I'm not really sure. I should have marked where 
how my oh look I just may have peeled that away so now I look like a, a freak my eyes blemished so there you go so am I having better luck with the color print with the color or is it just a coincidence I don't know we got three color and we have three uh, black and white so there you go I'm probably going to turn off this video and not hold you hostage anymore um, so let me know what you think let me know what you've done am I doing everything wrong this is a learning curve for me and uh, we need to do this so we can figure out if this is the method we're going to choose for making our SC custom design sign that's really what this is all about okay thanks for tuning in to SC custom designs and uh, stay tuned for part uh, perhaps three where we will um, figure out if this was the method there's there's other methods there's acetone there's the the cream as opposed to being in a poly uh, it's it's a cream base uh, this gentleman had a laser printer literally a laser that burns into the wood that was that's interesting or into anything really um, so that actually gave not good results um, so oh, well then ironing literally taking a steam iron right and st steam ironing it on <laughs> so that was five methods thanks for coming into my shop appreciate it uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing uh, hit the the bell on the YouTube uh, channel there and then you'll get notified don't hit that bell if you don't want notified of new videos that come up thanks for watching SC custom design and God bless let's see which face do we want to zoom in on how about this guy